वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोटोसिंथेसिस द चैप्टर दैट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड एट लीस्ट थ्री टू फोर क्वेश्चन यू विल सी इन दिस चैप्टर इन योर नीट एग्जाम एज वेल एज इन एन सी आर टी एंड बोर्ड एग्जाम हाई एवर लेट स्टार्ट वट आर द डिफरेंट हॉट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम वेयर द क्वेश्चन आर आस्क एंड विच पोर्सन्स are mostly highlighted in questions please carefully see the video that i am here discussing that is what are the different important parts of photosynthesis now let's start here the physico chemical process first your ncert is the written first line that is the it is a physico chemical process that is why it is physical chemical process it is a physical form of energy that is sunlight and the glucose to starch is a chemical formation so it is a physical chemical process and another part is it is a oxidation and reduction phenomenon that is water water molecule is oxidized to oxygen and carbon dioxide molecule is reduced to glucose molecule so why it is called oxidation and reduction phenomenon next here the endergonic or endothermic process here the this process is endothermic because it is actually a fill process that is it requires energy if you will see that whether it is a fill or downhill in case of a fill phenomenon here you see the off fill reaction needs energy and downhill reaction release the energy so photosynthesis is an off fill phenomenon so here it is off fill phenomenon and endergonic process that is it requires energy here is iodine test iodine test experiment is very important in case of photosynthesis in this case what happened you know that light is essential for photosynthesis when light is absent no photosynthesis will occur no photosynthesis will take place so light is essential part without light no carbohydrate will be produced so in this experiment you are seeing that the part of a leaf that is covered with a black tape is not able to produce any kind of carbohydrate that is a starch or glucose that glucose is converted to starch however no starch is produced in this region so when iodine is given iodine and starch is not reacted in that region but this region becomes blue because this region contain starch and iodine and starch together form the starch iodide the blue color pigment so this region is devoid of any kind of starch so this is a iodine test it is the most important test given in your ncert so it is the most important thing next here you will see that koh experiment koh is an absorber of carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is essential for formation of starch here you are seeing that the carbon koh why is essential because without koh this experiment can't be performed here you see that half of the leaf is immersed in koh and rest of the leaf is remain outside when koh is present the part which is inside the bottle no carbon dioxide is present in this environment so the leaf is exposed to sunlight that this part and this part both part contain the sunlight but when we test a iodine test only the upper part that is outside part is showing the result why because outside part contain the carbon dioxide so not only the sunlight but also the carbon dioxide is essential for the starch formation so this is a koh experiment in this case this part is remains white no starch is there no starch iodide is formation takes place why no carbon dioxide 
starch is formed here because no carbon dioxide is present inside the environment so why this part remain white qh experiment is essential so this is the carbon dioxide is a essential part of photosynthesis this is proof okay and this experiment actually prove that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis so you have to remember and just uh, take a look for this next pistole experiment joseph pistole showed that how oxygen you know that oxygen discovered by pistole and in this a classic experiment he proved that oxygen is essential for organisms and when he placed a belger a air tight belger inside this a rat and a candle that both are survived but after some time they died because no oxygen is present in the environment because both candle and rat both require oxygen but the same experiment he performed with a mint plant where he placed a mint mint plant and that mint plant supplied oxygen so why they both survived and both survived after some time he concluded that this mint plant may provide something or that this mint plant restored to the air so both the candle and the mouse survived so joseph pifle 1734 1774 he discovered oxygen with his experiment this is somehow linked to the photosynthesis phenomenon jan igne house experiment most importantly the same experiment of the priestle he performed the same experiment of priestle only the experiment was placed once in sunlight you see here the sun once in sunlight and another in not in sunlight that is in dark and light condition the same experimental setup of priestle what he did here the same experimental setup one in sunlight another in dark when sunlight is given this is a sunlight experiment and this is in dark experiment when sunlight is given they both survived but in a dark condition they not survived because under dark condition what happened under dark condition no oxygen are produced by the plant because oxygen are produced only during the photosynthesis that is the light reaction so when light is there oxygen is produced when light was not there oxygen not produced so jan igne house experiments proved that classically proved that light is essential for the oxygen formation or photolysis so jan igne house experiment is most important in this respect Julius von Such Julius von Such is another experiment who what he did in 1954 he proved that glucose produce when they glow that is when plants are exposed to the sunlight they produce glucose also he proved that the green substance is present inside the special bodies that are now known as chloroplast that is a special a green substance that is a chloroplast is present inside the leaf he proved that and also said that is a glucose the and starch both are soluble but only glucose is reactive starch is non reactive substance now the another scientist cornelius van niel the microbiologist proved that the oxygen that evolved coming from the water h2o and that is the oxygen during the photosynthesis is produced during the light jan is igneous experiment proved that but colenius van niel proved that that oxygen is actually come from h2o not from carbon dioxide and colenius van niel experiment is most important in that respect the hydrogen from the oxidizable compound can able to reduce the carbon dioxide to produce the carbohydrate so oxidizable compound here the h2o that h2o hydrogen is actually transferred to the carbon dioxide so that can be converted into 
glucose carbohydrate so cornelius van niel experiment is very very important in that respect now the blue green algae you have seen blue green algae and green plants they both actually use the h2o water molecule as a donor of hydrogen and electron but in case of purple sulfur purple and green sulfur bacteria the hydrogen donor is not the h2o but but the h2s hydrogen sulfide and they produce the sulfur and sulfate not the oxygen as a by product so next experiment <coughs> Hill and Bendel experiment. You know the Robin Hill and Bendel experimentally proved that the JD scheme. Not only this, they isolated the chloroplast from the leaf and uh, of sterile media and proposed the JD scheme and detailed explained the light reaction. We know the JD scheme that we read is actually the proposed by Hill and Bendel. and detailed explanation of the light reaction also done by him uh, they isolated the chloroplast from the stellaria media and experimented in the absence of carbon dioxide now uh, the two types of hill reagent are there they experimentally proved that natural and artificial hill reagent is there uh, natural hill reagent is nadp plus and artificial was several that the dcpip dichlorophenol indolphenol dichlorophenol indolphenol benzoquinone potassium ferricyanide chromate dcpip is a dye dcpip is actually a dye dichlorophenol indolphenol is a dye blue colored it becomes colorless when reduced so this is most important in that respect so next <coughs> Ruben Haas is uncommon what they did experimentally proved that oxygen produced during photosynthesis actually coming from H2O and not from carbon dioxide with radioactive isotopes so first time they proved that oxygen that are produced during photosynthesis are coming from H2O not from carbon dioxide and they experimentally proved this in a reaction of photosynthesis here the some stoichiometry is there that is 12 molecules of h2o are required during the kelvin cycle here the spelling mistake is there kelvin kelvin cycle spelling mistake is there c l v i n is there however why it has to actually kelvin cycle has to run six times to produce a glucose molecules one hypothesis according to one hypothesis and during the six cycle 12 molecule of h2o are required because six molecules of in each cycle two molecules of nadph are required so for each molecule of nadph one molecule of h2 are required so for 12 molecules of nadh 12 molecules of h2 are required so next what are the places of photosynthesis name two places other than leaves where photosynthesis occur you already know that the photosynthesis occurs in green leaves in chloroplast and inside the chloroplast grana and stroma lamellae and stroma and uh, the two places where other than leaves where the photosynthesis occur the green sepals herbaceous stems in green fruits where the photosynthesis can occur the green parts of the plant is responsible for photosynthesis chloroplast has two parts that is grana lamellae and stroma lamellae you know and stroma on two lamellar part and stroma part grana lamellae and stroma lamellae they are splitting of water molecules and evolution of oxygen that is a light reaction whole light, re light reactions are done by the grana lamellae sorry whole water molecules uh, whole light reaction are performed by the grana lamellae and stroma lamellae but stroma that is a liquid part or the liquid part of the chloroplast that is the matrix part of the chloroplast that actually perform the dark reaction of the photosynthesis that is the synthesis of glucose molecule or carbohydrate molecule occurs in stroma next 
here the chloroplast structure is given it is a double me layer membrane and inner layer invaginates to form the this grana this is these parts are the grama grana part and these are the this the liquid part is stroma part and grana lamellae are these lamellae they are thylakoid these are these are also called together called thylakoid this together called thylakoid so each sac is called thylakoid and this is called grana grana and this is called thylakoid however the two grana are connected by this is this is connecting lamellae are called actually stroma lamellae here it is cut in thylakoid each are called thylakoid and total is called grana granum actually each single grana is called granum and it is a grana actually a plural form and uh, you see here the dna is a genetic material the genetic material it is a semi autonomous organelle and it has a genetic material dna and rna and as well as it has a ribosome here the ribosome you can see here the foot that is it has its own machinery of protein synthesis now the thylakoids and the granum are responsible for the these are responsible for the light reaction and as well as the stroma lamellae these are 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 the grana lamellae and these are gra stroma lamellae and gra grana lamellae are responsible for light reaction and the stroma the liquid part is responsible for dark reaction of photosynthesis here the chloroplast alignment based on the light intensity of chloroplast they are of three types parastroph epistroph and apostrophe parastrophe epistrophe and apostrophe what are the high under high light intensity when intensity is very high the chloroplast try to save themselves and they not face the light they actually go at the side and perpendicular to the light direction of the light sunlight that is inside the chloroplast inside the mesophyll cell chloroplast are arranged in such a way that is the high light intensity is not able to destroy them so they escape at the main site of the highlight under low light condition when light is essential but light intensity is very low then they go there at the surface and take the light and under moderate light concentration they equally distributed so this condition is parastrophe parastrophe when when light chloroplasts arranged in a parallel condition of light intensity light of, uh, falling of direction of light and when they are epistrophe when they are 90 degree angle present in a 90 degree angle hmm, epistrophe under very low light intensity chloroplasts are arranged as perpendicularly huh? and in this case it is called parallelly arranged this is called perpendicularly arranged and this is equally arranged randomly arranged so this is called parastrophe not uh, this is this is actually parallel arrangement this is perpendicular arrangement and this is uh, random arrangement so this is a the special type of arrangement of chloroplast alignment and especially due to the sunlight intensity next uh, photosynthetic pigments here the important term the chromatographic technique can separate the plant leaf pigments and result sheet of the chromatography is called chromatogram you know the chromatogram that is a leaf part leaf contain not only the green pigments but also the different light pigment different pigments according to the sunlight they absorb different sunlights so four main pigments of leaf chlorophyll a here the bright green to blue green color highest available pigment of the world and it you have to remember this part that is molecular formula C55 H72O5N4 mg chlorophyll b only 2H hydrogen ion is less and one oxygen is high why i am discussing here carotene yellow yellow orange xanthophyll yellow colored in bacteria two pigments are there what are the bacterial chlorophyll molecular formula is same only 2H is greater than chlorophyll a and one oxygen however then bacteria purpurin in green bacteria next chlorophyll a it is an universal photosynthetic pigment okay present in universally it is present in very every photosynthetic organism except eu bacteria in case of eu bacteria they are absent it is considered as a reaction center of photosynthesis 
reaction center the main reaction center of the photosynthesis is chlorophyll a amino acid amino acid name is glutamic and glycine is responsible for together constitute the photo protochlorophyll or protochlorophyllide that is the precursor of chlorophyll a so glycine and glutamic acid that are two amino acid responsible for synthesis of chlorophyll a the glutamic acid chlorophyll synthesis is possible Min minerals what are the essential for the synthesis of chlorophyll is magnesium iron nitrogen chlorophyll has two parts porphyrin head and phytol tail head part is hydrophobic hydrophilic as well as acidic in nature and magnesium ions are held together by the two coordinate and covalent bonds chlorophyll b is different form of chlorophyll a that is uh, hydrophobic and alcoholic uh, this is a tail region remains the tail region is alcoholic and hydrophilic hydrophobic this region remain embedded in thylakoid lipid bilayer here the structure you hear the phytol tail and this is a porphyrin head here you see the ch3 and cho here the chlorophyll b is a cho in second pyrrole ring this is a first pyrrole ring and the second pyrrole ring third position there the ch3 and cho in case of b chlorophyll b cho so why two hydrogen is less in its molecular formula and one oxygen is greater so you can see here next here the chlorophyll b C55, A70, O6, N4, Mg, yellow green pigment. Only different uh, is that CHO group. That is CH3 group present in three position of second pyrrol ring as I discussed here. Here the chlorophyll B. Only the second pyrrol rings, second pyrrol rings, three position is CHO in case of CH3, in case of chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll C is also like phytol tail. In addition to the chlorophyll C, chlorophyll D and chlorophyll E is also present in plants carotenoids it is present in chloroplast and also with chloroplast yellow to yellow orange pigment okay carotenoids actually the in case of except bacteria these pigments are universal okay like that of chlorophyll a also insoluble in water it is soluble in petroleum ether as well as in organic solvents chemically these are terpenes and very much stable pigments hydrocarbons and containing conjugatable hydrogen double bonds here the lights are not necessary for the synthesis of carotenoids you know that the in case of uh, chlorophyll light is essential for the synthesis without light the variegated leaves will develop next carotenoids it is present in chloroplast and also with chloroplast yellow to yellow orange pigments are there now except you back to these pigments are universal as i discussed Insoluble in water, chemically these terpenes are very much stable pigments. Hydrocarbons contains conjugated double bonds that I mentioned. Here the carotenoids are again of subdivided two types, carotenes and xanthophylls. Most important, carotenes. No oxygen molecule is there, C40, H56. The yellow-orange pigments and the oxygen molecule is absent, okay. Uh, this type is alpha, beta and gamma. You know that the beta carotene is a direct precursor of chlorophyll, uh, your vitamin A. Here is the structure of carotenes no oxygen molecule is there and terpenes like a structure okay here the next there are the food substances with the full of carotene you can take it now the xanthophyll here oxygen molecule is there one c40 h56 on one oxygen where the lutein the common plants and are responsible for the atom color of the leaf here the structure the structure is not clear only here oh molecule is there one oxygen so this is most important and this is a different color chlorophyll green xanthophyll yellow carotenes orange and anthocyanin reds here dianoxanthin and dianoflagellates you know algal uh, two algae the fucoxanthin and diatoxanthin that these pigments are actually the for due to xanthophyll they are actually these pigments are xanthophyll role of carotenoids carotenoids absorb the different sunlight wait different wavelength of light as well as they perform as an accessory pigment what are the accessory pigments accessory pigments means they absorb the different light uh, wavelength of light and transfer that energy to the chlorophyll a acts as a sealed pigment not only this they prevent photo oxidation of the chlorophyll a Chlor they prevent excess sunlight under excess sunlight chlorophyll a are photo oxidized and actually they prevent themselves uh, it is a uh, uh, they prevent the chlorophyll A from photo oxidation. It is direct precursor of vitamin A. 
health plants to entomophily and juchori. Entomophily means they are colorful as uh, in a previous slide you saw that. So these colorful plants and uh, colorful plant parts are actually affect, uh, attracted by the different animals. So they help in pollination and juchori is the transfer of the uh, different uh, seeds or fruits from one place to another so that uh, dispersal of fruit can be possible. So these are the juchori. This helps in juchori due to its bright pigment molecule. The pigments phycobilins. Three types of phycocyanin, phycoerythrin and allophycocyanins are phycobilins. Phycobilins are different from carotenoids. Phycobilins can easily be just uh, separated in a hot water. They are actually BG and red algae contains these phycobilins and accessory pigments. Blue green algae and red algae. These pigments are associated with proteins and hot water soluble pigments. Not uh, they they not require any petroleum type of ether. Open tetrapyrrole structure is there. That is no magnesium ion is there. They don't contain any magnesium as a phytol tail. Next uh, absorption spectrum. The graphic representation of the absorption of the different wavelengths of light by various pigment molecule in curl absorption spectrum that is inside a leaf different pigment molecules are there and they absorb different wavelengths of sunlight and when you graph graphically plot these different pigments as well as the different wavelength of light absorption then you will see the absorption spectrum the Angelman experiment first described the action spectrum the photosynthesis that is in which absorption where the x that is under which absorption spectrum which action action means oxygen is produced what did he did and he split the sunlight we know that sunlight can be split it through prism if we transfer it through the you, you will see the experiment properly here the experiment here experiment here he taken the prism and his light is transferred light is distracted according to vibgeur and violet blue iodine you can see that and one one solution is there inside the solution one algae is there name is cladophora here the algae is placed there and algae take the different wavelength of light and according to the light wavelength it functions and that is the action is taken that is action spectrum and he taken the different wavelength of line and different type of photosynthesis occur you, you and they also mix some aerobic bacteria in this solution so aerobic bacteria needs oxygen so the area where oxygen is actually high the bacteria will be accumulated there so in that region ox bacteria accumulated high in blue region and red region so in these two regions rate of photosynthesis is high so we can see that the blue light and red light that is the high rate of oxygen uh, oxygen are produced and high rate of photosynthesis occurs so these two light actually responsible for high rate of photosynthesis so this is a very classic very important and very interesting intellectual experiment i think in that in photosynthesis experiments that they, he did so this is an action spectrum and uh, the light reaction light absorption light reactions has different part Absorption of light, water splitting, oxygen release, formation of ATP and ADPH. Light absorption is a, the, this function is done by the two pigment complexes. We know that absorption of light done by two chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll A1 is called, one chlorophyll is known as photosystem 1, another is called photosystem 2. And LSC, light harvesting complex. Hundreds of pigment molecules are um, uh, together form the uh, bound with a protein, forms a light harvesting complex and one chlorophyll A is there in each chlorophyll complex because it is a reaction center. So uh, here PS1 and PS2 is a light harvesting complex. Here the one chlorophyll A and here is another chlorophyll A is there. Now antony pigment. Antony means except chlorophyll A, the other pigment molecules are called antony pigment like carotene, xanthophyll is called antony pigment. They are accessory pigment also. Reaction center is, main reaction center is chlorophyll A. PS1, PS2, this. That is the wavelength of light. We know that the PS1 absorbs the 750 nanometer of light and PS2 absorbs the 680 nanometer of light. Uh, here is a, one reaction center is given but not properly seen. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, see the video properly.